Hi, my name is Becky Jennings and I'm the creator of The Balance Method. Welcome to your third trimester advanced lower body workout. I'm really excited to bring this workout to you. It's going to hit the legs in all sorts of areas. We're going to hit the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the sides of the butt. It's going to be really challenging, but it's also going to be very effective. All right, we want to get super comfortable with using our legs a lot, right? Legs to support the baby, lifting up the baby, lifting up extra stuff, using our legs as opposed to our backs. All right, so as always, make sure you are cleared to exercise by your doctor. If your doctor is saying no, sorry, there's no workout. All right, as always, make sure you have water on hand. We'll be drinking that throughout the workout, and please, First and foremost, listen to your body. I'm right about 33 weeks, and I know a lot more is changing, right? So we need to listen to those changes. If you're feeling faint, dizzy, lightheaded, fatigued, any symptom, please stop. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. We have seven exercises, two rounds each, 15 repetitions each exercise. Let's start with a warm up. Go ahead and jog in place. All right, getting the blood flowing, getting our bumps excited to work out. Nicely done. If jogging in place is too much, march in place. Good job. Let's do this for a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. We're stepping out to the side with a little bit of a hop. It's not a full jumping jack, but we're taking it out to the side Getting that body nice and warm. Good, make sure you're breathing. I know it's easy to hold our breath. Make sure you are still staying engaged in that breath. Give me three, two, and one. Squatting down, squeeze up. Great job, down and up. Try to get a little lower this time. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Let's take those feet wide into a deep plie, down and up. Whew, good job. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome job. Just getting through this warm up. Good job, we have three. Quinny is joining, and one, good. Take the toes facing forward, arms out, pinky finger to pinky toe. Let's go ahead, stretch out those hamstrings. Awesome job, guys. You might already feel like your hips are opening up a little bit more, so we need to be mindful and not fling our bodies. Be really focused on the motion, okay? One more each side. Good. Let's step those feet together, arms up and around. Our arms will be holding weights, so we wanna make sure that our shoulders are nice and ready. And the other way. All right, so I'm gonna start with my heavier weights in the beginning. I have 10 pounds and five pounds. You pick your poison, okay? Or if it's too much, no weights at all. We're gonna be doing a chair pose squat to a regular squat, but we're gonna hop in between. So we're gonna here, to here, to here, okay? Show you from the side, so you can see how far back my booty goes and my knees stay over my shoelaces. So it's here, to here, and back. All right, 15 repetitions. Here we go. Take it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If this is too much, step it in. Okay? We have three, two, and one. First exercise is done. Go ahead and grab those lighter weights. We're moving into balanced runners. So, we're gonna start on that left leg. Opposite arm is up as knee. 
We're coming down and up. All right, that's the runner. We're gonna burn out that booty, really engage in that leg. Here we go, 15. Take it down and up. You can see it's a little challenging right off the bat. Exhale when you're coming up. Now the reason this is so challenging right now is because we have relaxing going through our bodies, which means our joints are getting way more relaxed. Good, three and two. Last one and shake it out. Good. Apparently I can't walk and talk <laughs> or work out and talk at the same time. Switching legs. All right, if you need to, if you're feeling off balance like I just was, tap the ground in the back, okay? Find a focal point on the ground, stare at that, squeeze the booty, focus on the breath, and really focus on that motion, pushing down and back. Ooh, feeling that burn in the booty. Over halfway there. We have seven, six, five. You got this. Keep looking down at that focal point. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Go ahead and grab some water. We're going to move into low lunges. Awesome. So, leg you just didn't work is going to be behind you. Leg stays straight in the back. Arms are going to be right by your side. Make sure your pelvis is facing forward, that you're not opened out. Okay? Keeping this leg straight, we're dropping down and pressing all the way up, squeezing that back leg or that front leg that's working. Okay? 15 repetitions. Exhale on the way up. Inhale down, exhale up. Here we go. Squeeze that booty. Two, abs are in tight. Three, four, five, feel that burn. Six, seven, good job guys. Eight, nine, Ten, five more, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg up to the front. We are switching sides. So take that leg back, straight as you can. We're going straight down. All the weight is in this front leg. We're getting a nice stretch in the hip and the back and we are working this quad and this booty. Ready? Inhale down. Exhale up. Good job, you guys got this. Make sure you're lifting the heel, or excuse me, the toes up in the front shoe. Good. That's 10, five more. Five and four, three, two, almost there, and one. Awesome job. Okay, knee repeaters. This one burns the booty, but in such a good way. So the leg that just wasn't working, we're gonna get into a little bit of a low stance, kind of like a fighting stance, right? Leg is bent, but it's not moving out of this bent position. We're bringing the knees in right here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and grab one weight. We're bringing it in, in. This booty should be on fire of the standing leg that's not driving in. Arm is up, bend that knee, take it in. Two, three, sink low, four, five, Ooh, six, Seven, eight, nine, 
10, we got five more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, those burn. Switching legs, bend that front knee. Get yourself in that prepped, ready position. All the weight is in the heel, arms are coming up. One, two, good. Four, five, six, seven, bend that leg. Nine, 10, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good job. Okay, grab some water. We are getting there, guys. You are doing such a good job. I like this workout because you can really see the imbalances in your body, which side is more off balance than the next. You get a chance to really work on that, focus on that area as opposed to letting one side of your body kind of take over. Also, it's a good cardio workout, clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my heavy weights again. We're gonna go into a side lunge with a leg lift. So with that, we're going side lunge, letting the weights frame right below the knee, come up, lift that leg, fall right back into that side lunge. Ready? 15 repetitions, here we go. Down, lift that leg. Good. Three, tighten those abs. Four, push that booty back. Good job. Oh yeah, this feels good. This is 10, you have five more. Five, four, three, almost there, two, and one. Give yourself a little, little shake seize, move off to the other side of the mat. Big inhale here, big exhale. Other side, here we go, take it down. Leg lift. It doesn't matter if the lift is high. We're just putting our body off balance to regain that balance, which means we really have to focus on that booty muscle. There you go. Seven more. Here's seven. And six. Five. Four, almost there. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Let's drop these weights for a second. Grab water. We're moving into another challenging exercise. <clears throat> We're going into single leg deadlifts with either a toe raise or a hop. So I'm gonna grab my heavies. What that will look like, we're starting here, drop, hinge your body over, either hop or drop, hinge your body over, raise it up onto the toe, okay? 15 repetitions each side. Find your focal point now. We're gonna be staring at that the entire time. This is gonna require a lot of concentration. I want all the weight in your heels, separate the toes in the shoes, Right now, lift that toe up off the ground, flex the booty, flex your inner thigh, flex your outer thigh. That is your balance. As the leg goes back and your body weight comes forward, you're flexing even more. Deal? Okay, here we go. Find that focal point, take it down, and either hop around that toe. Good. Breathe. Really concentrating on this one. Good. Doesn't have to be a huge hop. This is nine. And ten. We have five more. Five. You got this. Buttons are on fire. Holy cow. Two. Oh, I lost it on the last one. And one. Oh, awesome job. Give your booty a little stretch. 
Oh, that feels good. Other side. Okay, and we're moving on to that next side. <laughs> nice big inhale and exhale. Find that focal point on the ground. Plant the weight in the heel. Separate the toes and the shoes. Lift that foot up. Flex the leg. All right. Train your gaze to forward. Find that spot. And we're coming down and up. Now make sure that the working leg stays bent. There is a slight bend in your knee. Chest stays flat, or back stays flat as your chest goes down, excuse me. Our chest is anything but flat right now, huh? Good, this is 10. Booty is on fire. Five. Four. You got this. Three. Two. Hamstring. And one. Whew. Drop those weights. Last exercise. Quick hold. Have your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes slightly turned up. Drop into a squat. We're holding. We're holding. You can do this. Booty back, chest up, pelvis tucked. There you go. Hold. You can do this. Almost there. Come on. Breathe with me. Get a little lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Round one is done. Grab some water. Congratulations, that was a tough round. How are you feeling? How's the baby feeling? Awesome. We have seven more exercises. We're starting from the top. If you're gassed, don't use the weights. Or if you've been using heavy weights the entire time, switch to your lighter pair. <coughs> Pull your pants up. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Chair pose to squat. Either a hop or a step out. Ready? Let's do this. One. Two, three, four, abs and tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up and breathe. Grab those lighter weights. Woo! That'll get the heart rate going, won't it? All right. We're doing those runners, which is that dynamic movement. You're gonna be off balance. This one's a challenging one. If you need to, tap the foot in the back. Have that be your stopping point, okay? So, raise that arm, opposite arm, opposite knee, and we're coming down, down, and up. I'm gonna tap my toe, because I'm very unbalanced for some reason right now. Four. Good job. Eight, almost there. Nine, 10, we have five more. Five, you've got this. Four, burn it out. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. That leg should be on fire. Mine certainly is. Let's take that opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go. Take it down. Find that focal point. Don't let your gaze fall off that focal point. <sighs> Exhale big. On that way up. Good. Six. Seven. Focus on that squeeze. You got this. This is ten. We have five, four, my leg's on fire, three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job. Let's go ahead and ditch the weights, grab some water, make sure we're staying hydrated through this workout. <clears throat> one reason why I love lower body workouts is because it's so cardiovascular. So. Jogging for me, out of the question, 
a lot of jumping out of the question. These are small enough movements that still get the cardio pumping. And I love it. <clears throat> okay, low lunge time. Take that back leg super straight. All the weight is in the heel of this front foot. Toes are lifted. Upper body is lifted. Hands are on the hips. We are just bending this front knee. Take it down. Squeeze that booty. This is your opportunity to really focus on that big squeeze through the front leg. Exhale up. You've got this. Breathe. Awesome job. Five more, you can do it. Five, four, almost there. Three, two, and one. Whew, good. Switching legs. Go ahead and take that back leg straight as you can. Hands are on the hips. Nice deep breath here. Exhale. 15 repetitions. Here we go. Take it down and squeeze. It's also a chance for you to get a nice good stretch through that hip flexor of the back leg. Focus on that squeeze. This is your opportunity to really focus on that isometric squeeze all the way through the front part of your leg, the back part of your leg, sides of your leg, your booty. Five more, we have five. Squeeze it up, four, good job. Three, almost there, two, last one, and up. Okay, grab some water. We're gonna move into those side lunges with that leg left. Oh, I'm sorry, knee repeaters first. Can't forget that one, I love that one. All right, grab your lighter weight. Whatever leg you just didn't work, we're gonna go onto that side. So, for me, that's my left leg is forward. I'm gonna get into that bent leg position. It's not moving from this spot. I'm never, I'm never getting out of it. I'm not going lower. I'm sticking to this exact spot. Here we go. One, two, breathe. Four, five, six, you got this. Seven, eight, nine, Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, that burns. Switching legs. Nice bend in that front leg. Hinge yourself forward. Flex that booty. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. You got it. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, awesome job. Now it's time to move to those side lunges with the leg lift. Grab some water, a couple deep breaths here. How are you feeling? You are almost done. We only have three more exercises. You can do it. You are doing such a good job. Take a couple deep breaths. I know this is fast paced. This is your advanced workout. Okay, you can do this. We're moving into side lunges with a leg lift, 15 repetitions, deep breath. Here we go, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me one more like that. Out through the mouth. Okay, here we go. Plant that heel, push that booty back, lift that leg, booty back, and lift. You got this. Doesn't have to be a huge lift, and remember, we're just throwing our body off balance so that we force it to regain using all those muscles. You can do this. Almost there. That's eight. Almost there. Nine. Ten. Oh, it's burning. Good job. We have four. Three. Good job. Two. One. Okay. Good job, guys. One more side. Deep breath. Exhale. 
Good job. Off to the other side, 15 reps. You've got this. Down, lift. Oh, my booty is definitely tired. Four. Push it back though. Plant that heel. Good, eight. Nine, you're almost there. 10. We have five, four, bring it home, you got it, three, lift, two, take it up, and one, <sighs> that's done, that's nice, deep breaths, you can do it. Now we're moving into that single leg deadlift with a toe raise or a hop, okay? I'm gonna go onto my toe, felt a little off balance, on that last one. So what that's gonna look like, leg is going back. We are focusing with a bent knee, gaze is down when I'm coming up, lifting up on to that toe. Ready? Here we go, 15 repetitions. Take it down. Slow this one down. Two. I really want you to focus on the back of that leg. With that hop at the top, or that little toe raise, what you're doing, you're not only really adding power, but you are throwing your body off balance again. It's important to be able to correct that and flex through that. Good, really strengthen those auxiliary muscles. This is 10, we have five more. Five, good, four, use the back of the leg, three, you got this, two, one more, oh, definitely wore the back of my leg out on that one. Okay, plant the heel, separate the toes in your shoes, deep breath here. And exhale. Okay, find your focal point. Mine just happens to be my uh, foam roller, which I know I'll be hanging out with after this workout. <laughs> okay, here we go. Flat back and up. Flat back. Slight bend in that knee. You got this. Good, third of the way there. Use the power behind these big muscle groups, your hamstrings and your quads and your glutes are so strong. Use them, squeeze, find the balance. This is 10. We have five more, five. And four, you got this. Three. Two, almost there guys. Make this your best one. And up. Okay, drop those weights really fast. Feet about hip width apart, toes turned out, dropping into that squat, come down, hold. This is your last exercise. You are so strong, you are so capable. You can do this. Lift the chest up, push that booty back, hold. You can do this. I believe in you. You are such a strong mom. Hold it here for five, four, squeeze, three, two, hands on the hip or legs and push yourself up. <sighs> Congratulations. Let's head down to the mat. Get a little stretching. Oh yeah. Congrats guys. You did it. Let's go soles of the feet together and rock side to side. I don't know about you, my dog always knows when it's about time to stretch. Okay, so wherever you can place your hands, either on your shoes, your ankles, or your shins, lift the body and press down on those knees with your elbows and breathe. You should feel great on the sides of your booty into your hip. 
It's a great stretch. Just training your body to know that you're gonna be needing to open those hips, right? This is a great way all the way through your pregnancy to just keep opening those hips. Awesome job, I hope you're breathing, you're slowing down, calming down, good. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me, you can stay facing forward. We're gonna go ahead and cross one ankle over one knee, fingertips are facing you, and press the body up as you flex this foot, getting a nice stretch through the booty. Go ahead, sit down. Sit down, good job. And breathe. This is a nice one for those tight glutes, tight hips, and breathe here. You might not be as close to the body as you used to be. That's okay, make room for the bump. And let's go ahead and stack those legs, lifting up and walk your body forward. Ooh, you should feel this big tag in the back of your legs in the back of your booty. If you can keep going forward, I encourage you to do so. Find what's comfortable to you while you're not pushing so hard that you're straining, but you're easing into this stretch and just letting the stretch take you as far as it can go. Don't ever push yourself that you have to get to a certain level in the stretch. Just let your body tell you what's comfortable, what's not, and then hold on to that moment right there where you're just like, this is that point where if I push too hard, I could injure myself. Back off just a little bit and hold right there, okay? If I go too far, I know I'm gonna be pushing myself into an uncomfortable area and I don't wanna do that. All right, go ahead and help yourself undo those legs and let's switch sides. There's no shame in helping yourself. Okay, fingertips facing your body. Push your body up. Flex that foot, get a nice stretch in the back glute. And breathe, of course. Nice deep breaths into this stretch. Great job, give me one more deep breath here. Awesome, let's go ahead and bend that bottom knee. <coughs> Stack those heels. Oh, this is such a tremendous stretch for the hips, for the low back. And then if you can, start to walk your hands forward. Again, don't push your body past where it can go. We are in no game to add additional strain, additional pressure, additional pain, right? Let's just keep, keep it nice and gentle and listen to your body. One more deep breath here. I want you to focus on breathing into that stretch right here. So here we go. Exhale, put all your attention into that hip. Great job. Okay, let's go on to our side. I want you to take the top leg and go ahead and bring that heel up towards the booty, giving yourself a nice quad stretch. That should feel really nice. To deepen the stretch, just push your hips forward. You should feel that all the way up the belly of your quad. It's a great stretch for your legs. And a lot of our tension in our body comes from our quads. They seem to be, you know, never really sore, never really that painful. But trust me, if you get a foam roller on those, you can find some really solid knots and that can affect your hips as well. So make sure that you are spending time stretching out these quads. Good, let's switch to the other side. And if you want more of a stretch, push those hips forward. Awesome job. And breathe here. You did an incredible job. I am super proud of you. I know it was challenging, it was fast paced. You did a great, great job. Good, let's come up. Sit comfortably. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Congratulations. I will see you at your next workout.